The Alps are a place of longing, wild, untouched, sublime, but only in our heads. Humans have been shaping and changing the Alps since time immemorial. What we see is what we have created over centuries. Nevertheless, we still tend to believe that the Alps are a counterworld. Because we wish to see them that way, we never stop reinventing their myths. Today, we are at a point where we are doing more harm than good. We are in the process of destroying what we love and need. And we know that. The Alps are part of us, and we are part of them. We have to take responsibility if we wish to save them. We all have to ask ourselves, what can I do? I am fully convinced that the current economic order is the completely wrong framework for what we actually need in order to protect this Earth. We believe that we are not the problem, but part of the solution by sensitizing the climbing scene to treating nature and magic wood thoughtfully. We have to be aware of how this idea of beauty, how these cliches shape how we view the mountains and the Alps. If we don't learn that, if we don't learn to see them differently, then nothing will be able to change. Of course, from a global perspective, it makes no difference whether I go climbing without my car or not. But I just wanted to change something for myself, and I also believe that many others feel the same way. My hope is simply that this personal confrontation with the climate crisis by each individual will help change the big picture. <laughs>